Hello everybody, this is Stray Gibby here for Primal Carnage Extinction, the Halloween update, the 2022 one. Probably the biggest Halloween update we have had in a while, because lots of new stuff to go through. So yeah, <laughs> strap yourselves in kids and older people, we're going to be in for a long ride. Right, first things first, let's have a look at the patch notes. Ten years since Primal Carnage first came out. Amazing, isn't it? Like, just picture yourself what you were doing 10 years ago i mean i know what i was doing i was in comp doing starting my exams that's what i was doing when this game came out <laughs> halloween horrors a terrifying new game update is now live for primal carnage extinction on steam okay so the probably the biggest change in this update the new pyro weapon called the, the flame slammer and i covered this a few weeks ago so this one is unlike the flame saw it can deal more damage at a longer range which is something that the pyro always lacked i mean the best long range weapon it had was a pistol yeah not good is it but yeah you, it can fire incendiary bombs and it can do like shotgun rounds for close range combat and from what i have seen people seem to think this weapon is very very powerful and when i compare it to the debuts of the other newer weapons i.e smg's salt can and stuff like that i actually think and I know it's only been a few days, this flame slammer has made the biggest impact. Honestly, I really do. So yeah, for close quarters combat, the slamfire shotgun shoots slug shells, which are ac which are surprisingly accurate. So yeah, this is this makes pyro very good, but it does have weaknesses, and I will go on to that weakness later. Okay, this is kind of out of the new, a new mechanic for the tyrant, the bracing. So basically, you. You all know that Pachycephalosauruses can brace to reduce damage. Basically, Tyrants can now do the same. Of course, the brace can be broken by an assault cannon. So yeah, kind of a mixed response to this so far, I would say. I haven't played Tyrant yet, so I can't really say what I think of it. I can only just read off of what others who have played Tyrant can have said about it. You know, it's a bit 50-50. It does drain your stamina, so that really does hurt, especially when you play Acrospino because their secondary attacks are far superior than that of the T-Rex. So I think bracing as a T-Rex is going to be will be more useful. Okay, another rework. The Trank Rifle, and this is one I have played quite a bit. So yeah, the Trank Rifle is now the Poison Dart Rifle, and it is des designed around sustained damage dealing. And the Dart Gun has also changed as well, which is... This one is focused on stamina draining. And I have used this Trank Rifle, and I do think it's a lot better now. And again, I don't need to go through this. It just does what it usually does, but it's more focused on stamina draining, so no one's going to use it because the bow exists. Okay, so Pachycephalosaurus has also received a change. With Pachycephalosaurus, we tried something different when it came to charging. Unfortunately, the manually activated charge proved too confusing to most players, or just plain awkward. So basically, Pachycephalosaurus becomes a Carnotaurus. All the bruisers also let out a bellow when they reach high enough speeds to deal charge damage. I noticed that when I played Carno as well. Melee attacks by the dinosaurs are much more reliable, which I have definitely noticed the difference, especially playing Novarat. Uh, flyers have received a buff, and boy have they received a buff. Uh, yes, some new uh, horror stuff, which I'll go through later. Oh yes, a new wave of ultimate humans, the kilowatt humans, and we will try and craft one this episode. Fingers crossed. And yes, new human taunts in the store. Again, I'll go through it. Uh, we will also get, on Halloween, free stuff. We'll get a free 10th anniversary gift, which is a personal gift for everyone. To enter, you enter a special code in the store and everyone will get a special gift. Nostalgia glasses and Carnotaurus, some sprays, that kind of stuff. Yes, this is the uh, pack you get from opening the new gift, which we're going to open this episode as well. Okay, this is one of the new... Oh, excuse me. I don't know why I feel so burpy this morning. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just... Oof. Oof. Yes, the Precursor Rex is a legendary drop. For those of you that don't know, the Precursor Rex, Rex was the first ever Tyrannosaurus to be created for Primal Carnage. Okay. Ah, here we go. This is what we want. The full log. So, controller updates. I think this is for PS4 users. Doesn't really... I haven't really noticed any of these changes. I think it's because I use keyboard. I think this is for controller users only. Ah, dinosaur changes. Okay, so first off, dinosaur hit detection has been changed, buffed. Okay, that's a bug that's been fixed, so that's just a bug fix. Raw refresh reduced... Okay, this is a new change for raw refresh. It reduces dinosaur dosage amount by 50% instead of fully removing the effect, so that'd be good for trank users. That was a big problem with a trank rifle. 
Okay, so here's some of here's the tranquilizer changes. So damage displayed is perceptually instant with the intent to give better feedback. Hitting a strong point reduces the damage dealt, but not the dosage level. Ult only ultra strong points like the uh, Patchy's head reduces both dose and damage. And the damage builds up every time you hit the dinosaur with a consecutive strike. And yeah, this is where I was on about earlier. It'll produce a UI sound effect and get, which guar and guarantees a kill. Right, spitters have been nerfed. And boy, have they been nerfed. The damage has been reduced from 80 to 60. Uh, cryo acid pub, pub huddle damage interval has been sped up, which is a slight buff, I suppose. But the damage of the cryo acid puddle has been reduced to 25. Flamethrowers can ignite the pools quicker. And spit projectiles also explode on direct hitting a human now, which is awesome. And again, Dilophosaurus has changed as well, been nerfed. The spit damage is reduced to 10. The explosion damage has been reduced to 25. Slowed the draining effect of the Dilo Venom. Reduced Venom Puddle Stam Drain from 16 to 12. Again, like the Cryo, the big spits will also explode when hitting the human directly. Although, one slight change, the Dilo Puddles will deal a tiny bit of damage. Help humans be aware of them, because some humans are just dumb and can't see a big purple puddle in the way. Made the radius at which Dilo Spit extinguishes fire to be a little more forgiving, so... Yeah, I had that challenge this week, and... I did it in no time. It took me like one round to do it. Right, so tyrants have been changed. Increased radius of a few tyrant eating sounds. Ooh, that's cool. Tyrants produce threatening rumble when they are braced. The bracing ability, I'll go through it real quick. As a tyrant, hold the crouch key. So, control. The teabag key, if you're a toxic player. To charge up extra armor by bracing. And while braced, tyrants receive 80% less damage from all sources. Bracing slowly does consume your stamina, and you will lose a small amount of stamina when hit, so you can't really do it for too long, but that tiny window of opportunity might give you that opening you need to kill humans. Okay, you can brace and sprint as a tyrant, but the stamina will obviously drain quicker, and once, once you initiate an attack while braced, the brace will end and remove the effect. And you can't regen stamina while bracing. Okay, so the Packy changes, and boy, there's a quite, a, there's quite a lot, isn't there? So the Packy Patchy now automatically charges, similar to the Carnotaurus and the Serato. Minor increase to charge damage, so 38 to the minimum, minimum 76 to the max, which I think is higher than Carnotaurus. Okay, no, definitely not. I think Carnotaurus is like in the 80s. So yeah, like the other bruisers will have, Packy Patchy lets out a cry when it's reached its charge speed. The velocity is faster though when after roaring so maybe you will do more damage because i believe the speed of the bruiser charging does affect the damage you do although it's not very consistent Ooh, that's a good change Ooh, i could i could eat lots of humans with apache yay limited charge hits to one per second okay that's fair enough reduce stamina consumption for charge Fixed charge sometimes doing double hits. Yeah, that's good, because that's quite exploitable, though. Fixed charge being cancelled after jumping. Oh, that's good. So you could do the same with the Carno. You could jump to him with Apache, like you could with the Carno. Oh, that's a good change. I like that change. I haven't actually played Patchy yet this update, so I'm going to have to give this a try. Okay, so the roar ability has changed slightly, so increase the turn speed when roared a bit further. Slight reduction to... T turn in speed while jumping. Primary attack is now 25% faster during raw period. Faster turn speed for the patchy in general when charging. And it has a boosted charge turn in rate while raw ability is active. Okay, so the sliding speed has been increased. Lower jump in height. Minimum velocity required to slide has increased. Short the timeout so you can keep sliding. Slippy slide. All right, now flyers have received quite a bigger change as well. And I have definitely noticed this. So you get increased velocity from diving, which is really good. Flyers now slow down quicker from sprint speed. So you can break quicker so you don't bump into everything like I do. Oh yeah, that, that was a bug. That was a bug I suffered with. Especially with Tupa, it's terrible. Reduce minimum height required for Tupa Dive Bomb. And the Tupa Dive Bomb damage has been increased to 90. So that's really good. So Tupa's got a buff and it needed it. And Pteranodon's got a buff. Reduce minimum grab required grab height for Pteranodon. Grabbing is a lot less restrictive with a lower velocity requirement. And it and the slowdown is has been reduced as well. So you grab them and you go up quicker. Which is really helpful, especially when picking up them pyros. 
<laughs> and I'll tell you one thing. Because the new pyro weapons in the game, pyros are so much more vulnerable now to terrors and, and, and pouncing, which has been fixed. So that is the biggest weakness of the, the flame slammer, is the fact that you are just so vulnerable now. And if you get picked up by a Tyranodon, the odds are you're gonna kill you're gonna get half your team killed. <laughs> oh, it's gonna it's tons of fun, it's tons of fun. Okay, now for some human changes. So yeah, I mentioned this in a different video that the health pickup is differently now. So you slowly regen the health. It's basically like healing at a corpse. So I'm glad that's been evened out now. And if you get damaged, the healing stops. So that's a really good change. I really like this change. Some weapons have been changed as well, mostly bug fixes. Okay, melee attacks are now less effective by armor. So it'll be 20% reduced damage instead of 40. Machete has also received a slight buff. It takes less time to do a fully charged swing because nobody uses that. And the damage is actually increased quite a bit. So in theory, if you do a big hit with a machete, you can actually do double damage, which I believe is 360, which is enough to one shot every small dinosaur. Amazing, isn't it? Ah, here we go. So, recoil reduction on the SMGs. I think that's a buff. The M4 got nerfed because why? Oh, no, no, that's a buff. <laughs> I thought it was speed. No, my mistake. Yes, M4 got buffed, which is awesome. Revolvers got buffed. The uh, burst rifle has been nerfed a little bit, which is actually really good. Burst rifle kind of needed a little bit of a nerf. Desert Eagle got a slight buff. And the hatchets got buffed, which is awesome. Okay, so this is going to the tranquilizer. So I've already gone through that. Uh, this is just some cosmetic changes, some fixes. The skeletons are back. Yeah, just some, just some bug fixes. And yeah, that is the update, my friends. Right, now that the boring stuff's out the way, let's look at the fun stuff. The store. And yes, lots of stuff. In fact, I was told on the Discord that this is the most amount of new stuff that could be added to a store rotation. Because there was also something it was also like a saddle for the Carnotaurus, and that's not in here. And that's primarily because there's, well, there was no room for it. We've got all this epic stuff. So yes, we got the Halloween gift. I got two of these. I'll be opening one today for you lucky people. We got more Royal Acros because once we got one, we wanted more. We got the fancy dress dress collection, which I actually got some cool stuff in here. Some Flame Slammer skins. You know what's interesting about the Flame Slammers, there's so many new skins out for it already. Well, there's five by here alone. I think there's about three or four in the drop pool. And there's about another four or five in the gift. So yeah, I definitely think that's the most skins that a new weapon has had on its debut. Because I don't remember Burst Rifle, Assault Cannon, any of the others getting this, this many skins straight away. Okay, so we got a new kitty cat. Oh, it's a little bit off center there. That's kind of a shame. Yeah, I noticed some of these have been off are off center as well, like the uh, this hat at the top. We got a nerf gun because you know it's nerf or nothing. We got this, which looks absolutely beastly, literally, because it's Beast Commando. And no, it's not Feral Human 2.0. It's Beast Commando. Got the Pumpkin Human. I'm actually surprised. I haven't seen anyone with these skins yet, given all the hype that that was around them when we found out they were going to be added to the game. No one has got these yet. I haven't seen anyone with them. We got two new cryo mutes. We got Dentidus cryo, which I got because it looks absolutely awesome. Actually, I'll show you in my inventory. So yeah, we got Magnus cryo, Vector Carno. We got four Royal Acros because, as I said, once you get one ac Royal Acro, you've got to get more. A Phantom Dilo to go with a Phantom Rex. Uh, quite a few stuff. There was also some Serato mutes, but they have been removed from the store because they're bugged. And yes, I actually have one. I will say, out of all the stuff... Okay, I got Necrotic Nova Raptor. Cause it, look at that, that looks awesome. You know me and these zombie skins. And we got some human taunts. I didn't get any of these because I ran out of funds. <laughs> yeah, this one. I actually think, out of all the mutes, I think this one's underrated in my opinion. The Atrocitus Nova Raptor looks awesome. I believe it's Atrociraptor. And I think, yeah, this one will go under the radar a bit. Africanus Acro, which is one I was really tempted for, but... I got enough Acro Mutes. I don't want to. I uh, got a couple of Terra Mutes. Tenorensis Spino. And, uh, yes, yeah, some returning stuff. I got some of the stuff from last year, which I didn't get. And, yeah, let's have a quick look. So, I got the Crotic Pathfinder. <laughs> okay, I finally got the Mad Doctor Scientist, which is something I wanted for a long time. I wish I got it last year, but I finally got it. Fits my style perfectly. Okay, now this is probably my favorite human skin from this update. Look, look at that. Look at that, he got his moustache and his sombrero. It's a Mexican commando. 
But yeah, lots of new stuff. And we will craft a, try and craft a kilowatt human. Right, I didn't get any new tyrants. There's my necrotic nova raptor with the atrocitus nova. But look how big it is. Like, this is the normal one. Ready? And this is the atrocitus. That looks so cool. I, I'm sorry. This is my favorite mute from the update. I love it. We also got Basilisus over Raptor, which looks fascinatingly good. Uh, I didn't get any new terror or tupas. So there's the Phantom Dilo, a purple little pest. I will say, in game, you hardly see the purple. I think that's something they may need to fix. And yes, I got socks. Sockies to keep my toes dry. Um, yes, I did get this cryo mute, the Not Flurry Cryo. Genetically modified using Masayakasaurus DNA. And obviously the most notable feature, if it would keep still, is the mouth. And yes, who's the Dentatus Carno? I went for Dentatus over Magnus. And oh, look at it, it looks famished. It's just a skinny Carno. I feel like this is a pesky mute. Let's just have a quick look. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Other than the mouth, this this is a pesky mute. 100%. I think this is Imperius one, but... I obviously don't have the mute in my inventory, but I have the skin that comes with it. <laughs> and actually, funny story yesterday, I was playing on Absentia. I used this skin. Like, I don't think I... I don't know if I actually killed Absentia, but... I killed the server using this skin. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, that was, that was fun. Not for the moderators, though, but... <laughs> oh, that was fun. Let's see if we can craft a kilowatt human, shall we? Oh, I don't know what to go for. I'm gonna go for... Ah, oh, poo, I don't have a pyro. I don't have a pyro one. I was gonna go for the pyro, but... I'll tell you what, since I got plenty of scientists, I'll go for the scientists. All right, give me a sec. I gotta get rid of all this garbage. Wow, I've actually run out. All right, fingers crossed. Can we get the kilowatt? Dinosauriac says they're in the drop pool. Oh, they're in the game, so... God, can we get it? Can we get it? We got a 50-50. Yeah, we got it! Kilowatt scientist. Oh, wow, I like the hair. Wow, that looks not much of an effect there. But yeah, I'll actually like that. Really cool. Uh, let's take... Oh, I'll tell you what, let's put the Hornet mask on. Yeah, go for a Hornet set. Her vision is augmented, electrocharged, and cybernetically enhanced. But yeah, if you have the uh, Kilowatt Pyro, I'll give you this skin for it. But yeah, I, I literally checked my recording. I've been recording for 25 minutes. It took 25 minutes to go through this entire update. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Okay, what could we be? Let's be our Atrociraptor. Do, 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 do. Um, this one is red. <laughs> we'll call it red. Because very original. What? Don't you arse, Acro. I wanted him. <laughs> oh, I'm probably going to have to record another episode. Hang on. Attack! Attack! Ow! Ah, sod it. Let's be a Tyrannodon. Yeah, sorry, guys. There's not going to be much gameplay in this episode. I'll save that for part two. But we'll definitely play our Killerbot Scientist. Oof, that's the new weapon already. We'll, we'll, play, we'll play Scientist. Play Pyro as well. Yeah, sunshine. Damn it. <laughs> Yesterday I killed about 11 people with a pyro bomb. Like, not all at once, it was like different intervals. So, yeah, everyone's gonna be out to get me today. I know what they need, they need a distraction. Happy Halloween! Yeah, we got our precursor patchy. See, they all, they all know I'm recording now, because I only... Can you just call me a hacker? <laughs> Can't call me a hacker. Okay. That's rude. I opened a gift for you, you jerk. I know, I'm just having fun with you, buddy. I know what you meant. Fly around up here. I'm waiting for a pipe. Come on, pipe. Come on, pat the stranger. Sod it, attack! Yes, no, no. Oh, I go oh, right into a landmine. All that hurt. Retreat! Ow! Ow, that hurt. <laughs> Alright, tell you what. Let's use our Pachycephalosaurus skin that we just got. Ooh, ooh, that looks nice. Oh, he's, a, he's skinny. Oh, wait, what? No! It's unavailable. Oh, they've all moved on, have they? Ooh, that's the new scientist skin, I like. 
Oh, I almost had you, humans. Slap. Yes, you don't do. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I guess, I guess he just got that from me. Because that's, that's a legendary skin. Okay, see, you hear that sound then? That means I'm fully charged. Where the frick is everybody? Oh, this somebody. Oh. <laughs> Hit him! Oh, 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 damn it. <laughs> well, I did damage. Ooh, it sounds weird. I sound like a smoker. I sound like a smoker. <laughs> Attack! Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't get any kills, damn it. Alright, well, we got to be our killer one, gal. Yes, look at me, I look awesome. I am a kilowatt woman. I'm like, um, su I'm like supersonic. Ooh, I got that one. Oh, no, I have it, but I don't, I have to sign this one equipped. Yes, praise me, mortal. I am super saiyan woman. Okay, that looks awesome. Okay, this looks awesome. I will, I'll take it back. This sign, this looks awesome. The hair looks a little bit weird, but yeah, I can live with that. Oh, no! I'll save you, buddy! No, no! God damn shitty aim. Ah, no, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, dear. This is going to be one of those, isn't it? No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, got him! Please kill him. Oh, and he's going this way. He's going to heal. Come on, bird boy. What are you? Oh! <laughs> Chew on that! Yeah, take that, bird boy. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> yes. Time for you dinos to go to bed. Nighty night. I'm putting you to sleep. With my potent poisonous mix from the blue ring Dr. Puss. Oh, that car knows dead. Oh, who did that? Oh, I almost had him. No. Okay, yes, you got me. I'm not gonna get you now. Ready, 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 ready. ready. You gonna drop me or not? You gonna let go? Do it quicker next time. Ooh, hello. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, nighty night. Oof, that was close. He almost killed me. If he had killed me, he probably would have survived the tranker. Ooh, a tyrant, I see. Oh, oh no, oh no, there's another one. Oh, ow. <laughs> Carno got me, but I did loads of damage, and that's all that matters. Right, we'll give it, we're giving the pyro weapon a go. And you'll see why people think it's busted. But it does have vulnerabilities, which you'll probably see. Okay, there's one terror. Yeah, ah, 180 damage with one shot. You come at me, bird. You come at me, raptor. No, you don't. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, sorry, dude. Oh, I got them both. And I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, the burn off for the incendiary grenades is insane. No. Oh, it's gonna go away. Ow! Yeah, yeah, not so tough now, are you, Carno? Yeah, take that. You'll think twice before messing with me. Worry not, humans, worry not. We will have a dedicated episode to this weapon, don't worry. But I'm just giving it a little test run. And well, after all the stuff that's been changed, I got plenty of content planned. 
Oh, look at that. Damn it. Push, push. Uh oh, he's coming this way. He's coming this way. I'm gonna die. Run. Run. Get away, bird. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, you can see what I mean. Like, normally I could just fire him and then he's dead. Oh, I survived. Okay, you are dead. Somehow, somehow I survived that. <laughs> if that guy watches later, he's going to be so mad. Reload. You come up here, Teep. You come up here, Raxa boy. Oh, big damage done. Oh, no, 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 no. Still working on aiming the grenades. Come here, little sunshine. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh god, leave me alone. <laughs> Some things in this game never change. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, that was rough. Right, we're going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Thank thanks for watching. I know it's been a long one. Happy Halloween, because I probably won't post another Primal Carnage video till after Halloween. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. Mm -hmm.